C8 paint. Back at you with another video. And in today's video, we are going to talk about some Riker and Spider trends, some new things happening, things that I'm seeing. First up, hit that subscribe button. But first up, let's get straight into the show. How many of you guys take the screen door? Your screen door is this guy, my man, Greg Ferris, right? I've seen this twice now where somebody took the screen door and they were saying, as he's saying, there are bugs when he took his grill off. There are bugs and different things, especially, you know, it might have been a couple of big bugs behind the screen. So he came up with this screen door thing to put over the front of his Riker to prevent that. Get in the comment section right now. Let me know. Have you done something like this? When you took your grill off, did you notice a bunch of bugs? Did you care about the bugs? Did you just wash them off? Or do you go to an option like this? Get in the comment section and let me know. Next up, what if you could take your Riker on road or off road? So look at this joint, right? You got the wheels, but what if you also had it set up to where you could take it in the water? Would you do it? Some of you guys like motorcycles. Some people love boats. What if you could have the best of both worlds and just take this thing in the water? Get in the comment section and let me know right now what you think about that. <sighs> These are fault codes, right? So what if your spider or your Riker was showing this many codes? This is 12 codes. Man, do you just go trade this and get you a new bike? What the hell do you do when your bike is showing this many damn codes? Now, obviously, this is an older spider, but I'm just saying, look at all these codes that it's showing. Good Lord. I, get in the comment section if you've had all these codes before. Get in the comment section if you could tell me what all 12 codes mean. I would really love to see if somebody could tell me without Googling it what all 12 codes mean. How many people do you see now putting cameras on the front or the back of their spider? Do you guys think it's worth it? I have no idea. I don't even know what my thoughts on it is. Um, I got no clue. But I'm seeing it on the front like that, and I'm seeing it on the rear. You know, I've talked to people about it, and they're saying that it's good that just in case somebody hits their bike or something like that, I'm not really sure what they're talking about. Or some people say just for the uh, rear view camera, you know, they're able to see like how far a car or another bike is behind them when they're backing up. I don't know about all that. Get in the comment section and let me know what you think about it. How many people have been in this situation? You get to work. It's nine in the morning. You heard it was going to be a good day, a good weather day. You get into work. You go on break around 11 o'clock, 1130, or you just step outside to grab something out the car, get a, get a drink from the gas station at work, whatever. The weather is good. There's not too much wind. It's warm. Everybody's outside. There's motorcycles and different things, drop tops riding up and down the street. Your bike is calling you. Your motorcycle is calling you. How many of you guys have picked it up, picked up that call and said F work? And just blew off the rest of the day and just got on your bike. Get in the comment section if you recently just did that. I want to know about it. Tell me what time did you leave work? What was the earliest time you left work just to go ride your bike? I'm seeing a lot more lights on these things. So this was one of those big boys, right? I think this is an RT. Look at the lights on this darn thing. I mean, some of y'all are just, some people going crazy on these lights. I mean, these lights, you, some of you guys, like some of the bikes are starting to look like straight Christmas trees. Like I like my light set up, but like, I don't plan on putting any more lights. Hey, some of you guys might as, might as well go to Walgreens and just buy those, you know, cheap Christmas lights and just start decorating your bikes. Cause that's what the bikes are starting to look like. I mean, the emblems, you guys are lighting up the emblems on the bikes. I think some of these are kind of cool, but this one looks like a Christmas reef, right? I don't, you know, I don't know. Paint. Hey, y'all going crazy this year on the paint. Y'all are going in the garage and personally breaking these bikes down and going crazy on the paint. I see y'all painting wheels, y'all painting everything. I guess the, you know, the wraps are over and it's time for the paint, right? I guess so. 
Man, y'all going crazy. Let me look at this one. Yeah, y'all even painting the tires. You know what I'm saying? Not just the rims, the tires too. Boy, hey, y'all painting the seats. Y'all just going to paint the whole. Boy, y'all going crazy on this paint. Wow. I just wanted to show these too because I'm seeing a lot of tasteful uh, looking spiders and uh, with just different color. So you got in this one, you got boy, a bluish or teal. A blue, red, uh, green, or lime green. You got a lot of colors. Over here, you got gray, purple, fuchsia. Uh, you, <laughs> you got a lot of <clears throat> different colors on these. So this is the theme of this year, too, that I'm seeing. What colors... Are you guys going for this year? Do you guys like a lot of colors? Or are you guys, is it basic colors? What do you guys like? Get in the comment section and let me know. I'm noticing these, which these have always kind of been out, but I'm seeing a lot more of you guys utilize it. So these shock covers, just a different color shock covers, and it's really starting to show, in my opinion, it shows your bike off a little bit more when you have these shock covers in the color of your bike. Now, I'm not really sure these shock covers really match this bike. I mean, get in the comment section and let me know if it does. But, you know, at the end of the day, we ain't going to hate on the bike. You see what the bike says. You're right. Love does always win. It wins, y'all. Going back to this, it's starting to grow on me now. These Harley style type handlebars. I ain't going to front. It's starting to grow on me. And you guys are going crazy now because you're actually putting your accessories on these. So I, I guess you can put more stuff on it because you got more handlebar room to go across, down, around. But the Harley style handlebars is starting to grow on me. I'm not saying I'm there yet to where I'm going to get it on my Riker, but it's really starting to grow on me. Get in the comment section and let me know what you think. Oh, yeah. Get out here and watch these dirty ass bikes, y'all. It is that time, man. We 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 at the spring. We're gonna be at the summer soon. Wash these bikes. Some of you guys are showing up to some of the ride outs. Y'all bikes dirty as hell. Wash your bike. That's a nice little wash right there, boy. He got that that boy all nice, soapy, and that's it right there. Back to the colors. Some of y'all going so crazy with the colors. Get in the comment section and let me know what do you guys think about this one. What do you think about the color scheme and the helmet scheme on this bike? I'm not even going to comment on it. I'm going to leave it for y'all. Well, you know, I got to make some type of comment, right? So I'm not going to comment on the bike, but I'll comment on this. Whoever did the tire lettering on this bike, this Rally 900 should be flipped around and it should be on the outside. I do see what they're going for. They were going for like, since this side over here towards the grass, you know, it's going that way. They thought it, that's not the way it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go, you get what I'm saying, right? So the rest of the bike, I don't know. Get in the comment section and let me know. Yes, you can put tire rims on a Riker. You can put the rims and tires. You can put whatever you want on a Riker. Um, they are making the adapter for it. This is what the adapter looks like. So you could change it over and you could put whatever you want on a Riker. There are a bunch of people that ask me this question. So I'm just getting back to you guys. Yes, it can be done as long as you have the adapter pieces. You can go for it. You can put regular car rims and tires on a Riker. Now, I don't know what your gas mileage is going to be. I don't know what you got to do with your ECU or this and that or whatever to make it all work. But you can do it, and people have been successful with it. Man, my man Offset, man, he out here. My man Offset out there rolling his. You know what I'm talking about? He out there. Offset love the Rikers, man. You see, he like that rally. My man Offset from the Migos, man. He loves Rikers. Now, I'm going to have a talk with him. Tell him he got to get into one of these spiders, too. But last couple of years, he's been really messing with these uh, Rikers. He likes them a lot. 
y'all going crazy with the rocker panel on the Riker and putting your music down there, sub eight inch subwoofer, so on and so forth. You guys are really getting in the lab and having people, you know, scope this out, spec it out for you. Actually, I think you send them your your current ones and then they put it together and do the molding and everything. Man, y'all y'all getting creative with how y'all putting music on these bikes. And when this one is done, you can already tell this one is going to look factory. You know that you have done a good job with your speaker setup when it actually looks factory. If it looks like something you just went to Home Depot and grabbed some wood and some poles or something, put it together, that's hideous. It needs to look factory. So go look at your bike right now and you look at your speaker setup and you tell me if it looks factory, if it looks custom in some way, or if it just looked like something that you pulled up at Home Depot and you and a couple of the homies just threw something together. Look at these speaker setups. I'm not saying this one looks factory factory, but it looks custom. It's a it, it looks clean because it's so custom. It looks like something like this could have came out the factory. Look at that one. Look at that one. Look at that one. This looks like it came out the factory. It looks like it could have. It's, it looks like custom work, but it looks like it could have came out of the factory. Some of these other ones that people are putting together, I don't know. Yeah, look at that hood. Creative design on that hood. Get in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think about some of these custom setups and if you agree with me. This right here. This is how most people bike look. Some days, sometimes, depending on what I'm working on, I might just throw something back together on my bike. My bike might look like this on certain days, right? Look at all these dang wires. If your bike look like this, obviously you got burnt wires all over the place because everything's touching everything. Look under your hood and see if your bike looks like this. If it does, it's not supposed to. You want to clean it up and you want the bike to look like this. If it looks this other way, it's kind of a fire hazard. You want the bike to look like this. Button it up, clean it up, zip tie what you need to zip tie, make it a clean look. This is funny to see. So you know how we got this back seat, the rear seat on your Riker. Anybody that knows a Riker, if you had to sit it somewhere or whatever, they could come up and just take your back seat. They just basically cost you what, 400 bucks, 500 bucks, depending on if you have a custom back seat or something. There's a key that comes with it now where you go under the bottom and you can unlock this and it's it's a lock that comes on it so they can't take your seat and then your seat comes off. So you go right under the seat, you unlock it and lock it back and they can't take your seat. Get in the comment section and let me know what you think about that. The, these windshields, do you guys like colored windshields? to match the bikes. Get in the comment section, let me know. Do you like colored windshields? Not just smoked or a straight blacked out. I'm saying a different color, orange, burgundy, whatever it is, red. Do you like colored windshields? Wheels, y'all going crazy this year on these wheels. I'm seeing this a lot. You guys are powder coating everything. Y'all not playing no games. Shout out to y'all that are powder coating. Just make sure that a reputable company does it so you can get a professionally done quality project done for you. Because some people, I don't know, some of y'all getting in these garages and y'all just spraying them and doing them yourselves. And then you wonder why I look all weird, right? Another paint job. So, you know, I think it's Mantis Green is the spider uh, f3s that they made this one was actually painted so i think this one was originally black and somebody painted it in this green and i think in my opinion it turned out really well so shout out to some of you guys that really know how to paint a bike or you're taking it to the correct paint shop and they know what they're doing shout out to that man i'm envious of it man i don't know i might have to try a paint job instead of a wrap next time around some of y'all got some cool paint jobs that y'all been doing over over the winter time. Mm, mm, what do we have here? <laughs> this is not my bike. This is somebody else's. They got that colored windshield. But what I wanted to show was 
just the floorboards and people lighting up their floorboards now. Get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about that look. Oh yeah, y'all are still blinging out the tires, the fenders, the whole dang bike. Y'all are blinging these bikes out, man. Look under that where the exhaust is. Y'all blinging these bikes out, man. Whoo. Okay, get in the comment section and let me know. Even the radio blinged out. Get in the comment section and let me know, do you like bling on these bikes? Seeing some of y'all from the back. Seeing some of you guys ride from the back. This is what's up, man. When I see somebody's legs kicked out and they on a, you know, uh, Riker or Spider and they zoning out to the music, it's just like... The Riker is an interesting vehicle and spider to see from behind, in my opinion. Get in the comment section and let me know if you agree. Last but not least, some of the wheels that, you know, you could put on some of these spiders. Man, that's a big ass wheel. That Man, that wheel is huge. Damn. All right, y'all. That's the episode for this week. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Please hit that subscribe button for me right now. Until next time, my friends, C8 Pay out.